It's a race against time in Lodi, where a $2.3 million fix is underway to repair a sewage plant's roof collapse. CBS 13 Steve Large is in Lodi with this stinky situation that the Public Works Department is trying to keep contained. You'd never know what a problem this is by walking the streets here in Lodi, but on the other end of these sewer lines is a mess I got to see and smell firsthand. Oh my God, it's it's poop and pee. There may be no greater spokesperson for raw sewage than Karen Honer. I find wastewater treatment so exciting because you really get to see the science in action. Now you can really smell it right here. Yes, and the, the, what you're smelling is our head works. The flow comes in from here. Honer is the superintendent of this massive sewage facility in Lodi. It's a biological process going on. I don't love the smell, <laughs> but it smells like money. <laughs> it smells like money. Yeah. She's now overseeing a two million dollar plumbing problem. It's a big deal. It's it's a very big deal. Honer took me to the top of a working digester. This stinks. The roofs of two of Lodi's digesters, these giant silos full of waste, have disintegrated. The gas is corroding the concrete and steel insides. How many gallons of solid waste are we standing on top of right now? Um, about a quarter million, 250,000. Lodi is only fixing one now. It needs to continue using the other because it has more waste than space. It's a wing and a prayer that it's going to make it the next six months while that one offline is being repaired. If both do go down, Honer says they'd likely have to cut down waste processing time, which would be a state violation, and then pay a private firm that could cost Lodi ratepayers big. Public works is very expensive. Just because we don't see it, we don't see the piping. It's very expensive what we do. It's a part of our daily life. We get to flush away every day. But the sewage district here won't have any relief until their fix is finally finished a year from now. The $2.3 million for the repair work is coming from the Wastewater Utility Fund Reserves.